I'm going to talk. Here I am. Here I am. Here's me. This is my name. This is what I'm doing. Here's me. Just here. Yes, it's your boy Anthony Allen. I'm back with another one here on my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about teaching you how to edit so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them so that you have full control over your creations and your post-production editing and whatever you upload to YouTube or not. And here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that effect that many of the top YouTubers have used at one point in time. And it's basically a cloning effect, getting more than one of you, a version of yourself in the shot, a lot like what you're seeing on screen right now. And I'm about to teach you how to do this using Final Cut Pro 10. So this is definitely gonna help you Final Cut Pro 10 users. But even if you're not using Final Cut Pro 10, definitely stick around because you might learn how to do this with a different software. And if you don't by the end of this video, do not worry because I also touch upon other editing software and teach you how to do these things that I'm showing you in, in the current videos on those other softwares as well. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I also touch upon those softwares as well. So now that I've said all that, we're gonna get into the video now for you Final Cut Pro 10 users and I'm about to show you how to do this clone effect on Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up your Final Cut Pro. Then you want to insert the clip which involves you standing on one side of the room or landscape in which you've chosen to film and then in a different position within frame again you standing in shot that probably sounds a little bit confusing the way i explained it basically in my case i'm standing on one side of the room in one part of the shot i'm standing in another part of the room in another part of the shot but it's the same continuous clip so we're going to play this through just to see what it looks like ready i'm going to talk here I am, here I am, here's me, this is my name, this is what I'm doing, here's me, just here. And then the other clone is going to be right here. Okay, so in order to complete this shot, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that movement in between because it's just not needed and it's not going to be something that we're going to use in shot. So that's the first thing to do, so let's do that first. First let's isolate the movement. So here it starts, I uh, look down to the ground, that's a cube, the way I'm about to move, we'll cut there, then we'll find where I'm already in shot. Let's say about there. As we have two separate clips now, one will be on one side of the room and one will be on the other side of the room. We're just going to drag one of them underneath. So we've already established now that the top clip is where I'm standing on this side. What we're going to do now is we're just going to simply just crop across so we have a line in between. If you look closely, you can see there's an inconsistency in lighting and colour from one shot to another, even though this was filmed at the exact same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to balance the colours of both clips. So I've moved the bottom layer over to the right hand side so that we can differentiate what is being modified into which colour. So as this is the bottom clip we're going to select this one, modify, match colour, match the orange. Now if we put our clip back, I'm going to talk, here I am, here I am, here's me, this is my name. So at this point we already know that we need to mask out what's going on on the right hand side because most of this is inactive. So now we're going to go to find our masking tool. Let's find, let's click the effects panel here. And we're going to go and find Draw Mask. What we're then going to do, beginning with the first frame, is we're now going to draw a mask around our subject. Just 
just a rough mask. To get you started. Now the subject moves, so what we need to do is we actually need to zoom in now. Making sure we're not cutting off any of the subject like I have done here. And we're going to keyframe the movements of the control points. Just skimming through the shot to make sure that we're not cutting any of the subject out. And tighten some of the control points where we feel it needs tightening. See what I did there was I made sure that I widened the zones enough to fit everything in and what you want to do is ideally get it to a point where it's just about wide enough to fit all of the movements that the subject makes. The render is now complete, let's have a look at the shot. I'm going to talk, here I am, here I am, here's me, this is my name, this is what I'm doing, here's me. Just yeah. Now let's try and perfect this just a little bit further. Now we've already made our mask. We're just going to pull this forward just to see which one was our mask. It's the top layer. Just going to pull this back. We're going to go into our top layer, select it, go back into the transforms here and the effects. Then we're going to go to our mask. Then we're going to do a fall off and a feather. So let's try and feather things. And that should make it completely blend in with the frame. Now we don't want to fall off because that will give it a slight blur around the mask. So we've feathered around about 30%. Now let's play that through again to see how everything turned out. I'm going to talk. Here I am. Here I am. Here's me. This is my name. This is what I'm doing. Here's me. Just here. Well that blends in fairly nicely and now you can't see that ugly line around the mask. Let's watch it in full screen. I'm going to talk, here I am, here I am, here's me, this is my name, this is what I'm doing, here's me, just here. That is how you do that clone effect on Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully this has really helped you guys and you've enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up if it's helped you or you've just genuinely enjoyed watching the video. And as I said earlier in the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I have more uploads for you that will help you with your editing and I upload to this YouTube channel every single day, guaranteed you will not miss I will, I will not miss a day of uploads. There will be an upload for you every single day here on Anthony Allen Edits. So thank you for watching. Love to see you in the next one. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a thing. And I'll see you in the next video coming right up at the end of this one here on Anthony Allen Edits. Thanks for watching.